Hello and welcome back to Isle of Asia. One popular question that we get asked about Northern Thailand is Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai, which is better? First of all, let's take a look at the pros and cons of Chiang Mai. Pros include most daily needs are nearby, fantastic nightlife, a modern lifestyle, foreign friendly living, and a lifestyle to suit everybody. The cons of Chiang Mai include far away from any beaches, the unbearable smoke season, low levels of English compared to other cities in Thailand, the roads can be very dangerous, fewer social events compared to other areas. Now let's take a look at the pros of Chiang Rai. The area is easily accessible, an extremely low cost of living, some of the most beautiful sceneries in Northern Thailand, fewer holiday makers on average, cheap and available Chiang Mai premium tea. And now the cons of Chiang Rai. Excluding the town center, many parts of the city are spread out. Fewer levels of spoken English compared to Chiang Mai. Fewer facilities. Can become boring for some expats. A feeling that you know everyone in the city. I've added a link in the description for those of you who are looking for more information about these pros and cons. So the ultimate question is Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai? Which is better? Well, the first question is which is better to live? And the second question is which is better to visit? In terms of living, I would have to say, looking at the pros and cons of Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai is a better option as it has more facilities that are highly accessible to foreigners who are living in Northern Thailand. For those of you who enjoy the area of Chiang Mai, but are looking for a slightly less tourist area, then Chiang Rai would be a suitable option. Chiang Rai is a beautiful place for many expats to travel around, but its quietness may not be the ideal area for long-term living. In terms of visiting, if you are looking for a quick visit, both cities are often highly recommended. If you are looking for a more remote area full of nature and natural tourist attractions, then Chiang Rai is the best option. If, on the other hand, you are looking for a more upbeat and modern experience with a great nightlife, Chiang Mai would be more appropriate. Lastly, I wanted to say a big thank you to Kirk, Eric, Jess and everybody else who's joined the channel over the last couple of weeks as Al of Asia has now reached over 100 subscribers. Thanks for following and I'll see you next time.